well, I received something, for example, I didn't ask for, and I feel like I do not deserve it. And the global thing that I have in my mind is like, okay, if you have that, you have to work for it. Like if you do not, if you haven't worked for it, you do not deserve it. So I do not really have, you know, a, a reference for it. I just have ideas and stuff in my head. So I was wondering, like, where do I start with that? And usually when we can't find references for how we feel, so where do we start to change, you know, the thing to make it <laughs> positive? Yes, very good, Sadia. This is a great um, example. Okay. So I want you to think about the thing you um, you received, whatever that was, and um, that feeling of I don't deserve it and you're supposed to work for this. You can feel that now? Well, yes, like I have it all the time and I, I, I just, Good. it feels, yeah. But. yeah. And that's okay. And so now I want you to hone in on the physical sensation of that feeling. So you can you can leave the meaning and we're not going to try and change it it's okay to feel that and just home in on the physical sensation of that feeling can you do that and allow it to be there it's okay to feel it how does that does that stay the same does it change just a little bit <laughs> so you're allowed to feel it there's no need to change it. There's no need to stop it. It's okay. All right. You got that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I feel like one part of me is resistant, like just want to change it. And like, for me, it's really the big issue, like not wanting to feel it, what I feel. <laughs> yes. And that's why, that's why this allowing technique is so important. Because as we, so this is what's happening in real time. So you feel the negative thing or the thing you want to change. And as you judge it, as you label it and judge it and think, I, I mustn't feel that. I want to change it. What's happening physiologically, literally in your brain and body is you're pumping stress chemicals into your system, which is just going to make that feeling stronger. Does that make sense? So yes, you want to change it, but yeah. while you are think while you are judging it, it's like you're you're leaving the stress chemical tap running. So you want to knowing intellectually that you will change it, you want to switch off the sweat uh, the stress chemicals tap and switch on the feel good chemicals tap. And the way to start to do that and bring those stress chemicals down is to take your foot off the pressure, take your foot off the accelerator, and allow. So you're not pushing, you're not pressing, uh, putting any pressure on. You're going, okay, we're going to, oh, I know, a good analogy. If your car gets stuck in the mud, the more you, re the more you rev the engine, the more, you put, the more the wheels bury the car into the, the more those wheels turn and dig and dig and dig until you get really stuck. So pushing the accelerator is not going to help you get out of it. You have to do something else. So you have to, in the first instance, allow the car to be in the mud for the moment, right? And that'll take your foot off the accelerator. Then you can get out of the car and you can call the AA or you can get some help to push it or however you'll get, but pushing that accelerator is never going to get you out. Does that help to explain it? Yeah. <laughs> That's why, that's why we want to make sure, that's why we want to prioritize that feeling of allowing, because it's all about chemicals. All right, so as you allow that, that's okay, it's, it's fine to feel it and so on. Now, the next thing is that feeling of, I don't, deserve, so let me ask you this first of all, how do you know that you're supposed to work to get whatever this is? Where, where does that, how do you know that? Maybe it's not true. Well, because I was supposed to to do something, like for example, I asked for it straight time. I didn't ask for not having to give it like anyway. And like I had like usually this is how it works. And I kind of I received that it's kind of I didn't deserve it. I, I don't know. It's like <laughs> that's okay. It's okay. Well, all right. So so what's wrong with you receiving whatever it is if you don't deserve it. so let's say you don't deserve it 
but you get it anyway. What's wrong with that? Thanks, guys. Someone did me a favor. I just like, I don't know, who, you know, the spinning of it's just a favor. You do Very not deserve good. it. You do not have any merit for it. Very good. So we're drilling down now. So what's wrong with someone doing you a favor? What does it mean if someone does a favor for you? I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, is it my ego talking? I, I, I don't know which voice is talking. I can't find like this. And that's okay. That's all right. And now let's go back to your childhood. And let's look there to find out anything to do with people doing each other favors, either yourself or you witnessed or you heard about anything to do with people doing favors, being indebted, um, not deserving anything like that and it may have nothing to do with the same topic it may have nothing to do with the topic that that is uh, that you're currently experiencing I, I was <laughs> i'm always amazed by this like i was not thinking about it <laughs> yeah I, I was thinking about yeah <laughs> you got something yes good good job <laughs> all right so go to that now and approximately how old were you? And we can do this no content, but just uh, give me an approximate age. I think I was probably eight or seven. Perfect. 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 So seven or eight year old Sadia. And so go there now. Remember that now. And how strong are the negative emotions? So zero to 10, how strong are those negative emotions? Just very briefly. <laughs> you got it? Yes. Good. Did you say nine? No, I said ten. Ten. Okay. I beg your pardon. I'm <laughs> eating you out of one. Okay. So <laughs> just pause on that now and let's go to your favorite color, which I seem to remember is yellow. Mm -hmm. So take a deep breath and imagine being surrounded by that beautiful shade of yellow. You got that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feel the feeling of the yellow, how lovely it is. And now I want you to give that gorgeous little cheetah a hug. Can you do that? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> good job, Sadia. Perfect, sweetheart. Now press pause on that. And let's go back to that memory. So seven or eight years old and the negative emotions, it was a 10. Where is it now? Seven. Seven. Good job. Press pause on that. Let's go back to the cheetah and the, the surrounded by the color yellow. So you and your cheetah are surrounded by the color yellow. And notice how lovely it feels, that connection between you and your cheetah. Your cheetah absolutely adores you. It's pure, unconditional love. You got that? Very yeah. good. We'll <laughs> put pause on that. Let's go back to that memory. Seven or eight years old. And the negative emotions, uh, it was a seven. Where is it now? Five. Five. Good job. Let's pause on that. Five. Good, that's okay. Yeah, so press pause on that. Let's go back to the cheetah and the yellow. And notice how soft the cheetah's fur is. She's so cuddly and sweet and beautiful. You got that? Yeah. Very good. And what do you love most about that cheetah? Or what's one of the things you love most about her? Uh, yeah, the softness and it's like, they're beautiful. <laughs> yes, they are. Gorgeous. Okay, and press pause on that. And let's go back to that memory. So seven or eight years old. And the emotions were a five. Where is it now? Oh, it's like a one. <laughs> Very good. Perfect. So press pause on that. And let's go back. Let's go back to the cheetah and the yellow. And how wonderful that is. And does the cheetah have a collar on? A beautiful diamante collar or some other kind of collar or not? Oh, yeah. I like the these dogs. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Very good. Good job. 
And now press pause on that and let's go back to that memory. Now the memory of seven or eight years old, any emotions left there? Good. No. <laughs> good job, Sadia. Very good job, sweetheart. And now I want you to change that memory. So imagine it differently, whatever would have been perfect. So something fun, something the opposite, positive and empowering. And if you need some suggestions, let me know. You can bring the cheetah into it if you like. <laughs> you got something? Yes, yes. <laughs> good, very good. So now practice that new memory. Practice it as much as you can. And those uh, alarms that you're putting in your phone, for today, every time, or for tomorrow, because I know it's, it's later over there, of course, um, for the next 24 hours, let's say, whenever that alarm goes off, do the superpower exercise and then practice that new memory, just that one. All right? Yes. I want to say thank you because I think this one is really going to change my perspective on how I see people because the memories like that was attached to that it was people asking in the street like if you ask for money you don't deserve like you do not deserve it so I think that was also affecting the way I would see people that would ask for money they don't have and things yeah. like that so practicing that will not only change mine I think but the way I see people that are in need Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. I'm so excited for you and so proud of you. Good job, Sadia. And thank you for sharing it here because, again, it will help so many others. And Sadia, how are you today? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Good. Now, I just wanted to say how grateful for the session and especially for yesterday like it's been like a month and a half since I received this gift that I didn't know I needed what I needed at that time but couldn't feel grateful for it just because I felt you know I was not deserving in being able to switch that now feel the gratitude like eternally grateful for this session thank you thank you thank you I am so happy to see that good job you I'm so proud of you Sadia good job sweetheart yeah excellent <laughs> so, very good oh sorry I muted you by accident no I just say that was all being here oh, like yeah <laughs> feel thank more you. peace and calm yay thank you thank sweetheart you. good job